We talked a lot about making this car very iconic and heroic. You know, today's car has a very brutal kind of design uh, aspect to it, and we wanted this to be more voluptuous, more heroic, more beautiful. As much as the electronic world lets us be more efficient, lets us refine things a lot more, and lets us work over what we call bogey points a lot quicker, at the end of the day, we still want to have and create something that we can, we can physically touch. We decided we had done this clay and we had spent a lot of time in the electronic world. Um, Ralph tasked us with creating a foam property to help really show what this new car was all about. So uh, from that point, we, we actually created uh, a, a aluminum armature, put foam pieces on it, and actually milled the Viper out. The thing that we wanted to convey with this model is we wanted to make it beautiful, obviously, to, to demonstrate how beautiful this car can be. But every element on this car is functional. It's first and foremost, it is functional. The NACA duct, you know, we looked back to, you know, the original 96 uh, GTS and, you know, the shapes that were on there and, you know, how can we evolve that onto this car? The, the, the vents on the hood, they're, they're functional. The car needs it to breathe, but, but they truly are functional. The double bubble roof, again, it's another iconic Viper element, you know, but uh, it actually gives clearance for, for someone wearing a helmet on the inside. One of the elements that we really wanted to focus on was capturing a different proportion than today's car. Uh, being that it's, it's derived from the last generation vehicle, we wanted to make sure that we kind of gave this a, a different proportion read. Uh, one of those elements that we were able to capture that was the, the DLO, and we integrated this rear brake duct which really drew the proportion of the car out. Um, also, the backlight, the, the touchdown of the, the backlight to the deck lid was something that we really played up that dramatic proportion as well. Um, another element that was a very big key element was the, the widow's peak that we call it, which actually kind of visually uh, extends the roof line. It really draws it back as well. And it kind of lets the line just continue to go around the car. Um, one more element that makes it very voluptuous and beautiful. Um, you know, obviously this is a very much a Viper thing to have those really kind of stout hips on the car, uh, the, the extreme Coke bottle into the gill, through the body, into the door, um, as well as the side exhaust. The side exhaust definitely is a Viper Q. That's something that we wanted to maintain, but we wanted to refine it and make it much more of a, an elegant, well, it's a powerful statement. Um, so we integrated this uh, aluminum nickel plated bezel that's in there. Um, you know, that's something that we wanted to kind of, kind of elevate the level of fit and finish as well. So these are, these are models that were done by the lighting supplier. Um, these, these we have done to prove out not only the actual lighting technology that we've, we've put into these, but also just to evaluate the gaps, the fit and finish, the quality of the parts lining together, um, and re get a real, a real sense of what these lights are going to look like um, out on the road. Uh, when we get these, one of the things, first things we do is we take them in a dark area where we can really stand back from them, almost like we're seeing this vehicle come down the road. Um, so like any, any other SRT, Viper is no different, where we really wanted to have the, this lighting signature very distinctive for Viper. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this has very much that serpent eye quality to it. Um, and it's very simplistic, but it's, it's uh, technological at the same time. Um, so what I could show you here is the daytime running lamp that you're going to see um, down the road. And this is very much a 360 degree lamp where it has a very interesting front view, but it also has a very interesting side view as you, as you kind of wrap around the vehicle. Um, so it has a very strong presence to it. There's going to be no mistake what this vehicle is in your rear view mirror. Um, down to even the turn, when you see the turn coming, you know, it's got that kind of the angry eyebrow effect to it um, where it crops the lamp. And this is the low, the low beam. This is basically with the, uh, the DRL and the low beam on. Uh, this is the, kind of the, the visual presence that you're going to see in the vehicle. Um, so once again, it's, the Viper is very, well, we've had a very much uh, beautiful exterior that's very much controlled. We really wanted this vehicle to have a lot of secondary levels of detail, uh, lighting being one of them, uh, where we, we really showcase the technology, use it in a simplistic way, and... Uh, very pure functional uh, way to handle it as well. Talking about the tail lamp, this as well is kind of a good way for us to really evaluate the, the fit and finish of the back end of the vehicle. Uh, one thing we did here was, as you saw with the, 
the foam property that that was a GTS price class, where this will be uh, the core package, which gets a body color uh, tail lamp surround. Um, and this was good because we're able to read the gaps, see how the over slam to the deck lid, how all that stuff lines up is very important to us to make sure that we really get the level of fit and finish on this vehicle. Um, so with this tail lamp, uh, which is full LED, uh, we really want it to be very simple, very pure, uh, very much like the rest of the vehicle in character with keeping this functional purity. Um, this has several LEDs for the tail stop, which I can show you here. So it has almost like this crushed glass effect to it. Um, very proud of how simple it is and how clean it's. Once again, it's going to have a very strong presence as you see it from, from the road. Um, if I show you the turn, uh, once again, as I mentioned earlier, the turn uh, being that it's something that we export this car, we always have this amber turn on the vehicle. Uh, we were able to kind of hide it by doing a 10% tint lens to the back end um, so that when the, the LEDs are off, it just kind of goes black and it goes dark. They love it for what it is. And we wanted to make sure that we kept, you know, the essence and the soul of what our customers love and pull that into the new car and make it even better for them as well.